Hey, what's up guys? Tyrant here bringing you guys the roundup this week. One of two roundups actually, as of course the Tekken World Tour finals went down over the weekend and it was a pretty big deal. So we're going to have a separate video just sort of going over that. But this is going to be the weekly goings on in the fighting game community. All the tournament results you need to know as usual. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Kicking off the 8th year of Brawlhalla competition, we start the Winter Championship. With a total of $1 million up for grab throughout the whole year, throughout a series of online, offline, singles and doubles competition, it's bound to be a big season for this game. The action is split up into 5 different regions, North and South America, Australia, EU and Southeast Asia, with top players from each region getting invited for an offline event each season. North America had 808 entrants, and without losing a single set, Raydish is the winner over Stingray. South America had 372 entrants. Undisputed till the end without dropping a game, Kaina is the champion. Can't deny it, that's three exclamation points. Europe had 678 entrants. The throne is now French as Machete won it all. Australia had 88 entrants and has been won by none other than Asmodi. Southeast Asia had 116 entrants and despite a closer set against Sire, Himwi is the winner of that region. Dodge comes back just too late. If singles happen this week, doubles will be held next week. It's to be seen if these players are going to win again, as that doubles does bring a different dynamic to the game. Well, we're going to have to stay tuned and find Step out. Between the, anvil. Oh, this is bad. the ninth edition of the famous tournament series Kagaribi is back with 1,248 entrants, mostly from Japan. The competition was fierce. After a long and tense grand final, the youngster A. Cola is the winner of Kagaribi number nine. Oh, but the anvil! And the anvil! Yeah. Cola takes it, popping off. The Ryu player Asimo made a breakout performance, finishing second, being players like Paseri Man, Atelier, Kameme, Yoshidora, Zakre, and even resetting the bracket against the Steve player. Talking about performance, Zakre made an insane loser's run. Losing early to Limu, he then proceeds to win 10 sets in a row, finishing third to Asimo in a close set. Even more surprising is the character he picked. We all know Zakre as the player picking the most variety of characters at top level, but this time he wrote history with Pit. Morning growing, man. The end of the day, so whoever's had to stay on top is who really puts in the work. Frosty Faustings is back in Chicago with its 15th iteration and sitting at around 3,200 attendees was its biggest year yet. With two Arc Revo World Finals qualifying tournaments, a staggering 25 main games and a ton of side events, this yearly event is rapidly becoming a must-attend tournament in the FGC calendar. As it was such a huge event, we're just going to cover the main event here, which was the Arc Revo qualifying tournaments, or else we'd probably never finish this episode of the Roundup. The biggest tournament at Frosty was Guilty Gear Strive, which saw a massive 1,059 entrants battle it out for that final spot at the Arc World Tour Finals next month. Of course, competition was white hot with so many world-class players. Of course, not everyone could make the final eight, with players such as Leffen, Razo, Hotashi, Nitro and more falling short in top 48. Going into the top eight, all eyes were on Latif as he took a close set 3-2 over Nubenheimer before a tough defeat to the Leo Master, Tempest NYC in winner's final. Meanwhile, in loser's bracket, second place at Evo May Monster Slash was working his way through the competition, as was Aaron DeMack with his deadly happy chaos in the other side of the bracket. The two met in loser's semis, and in a close set, Aaron DeMack took it 3-2 to face Latif in the loser's final. Another close 3-2 saw Aaron fall to Latif, and we had a run back on our hands as he then went to the finals to face Tempest NYC. Latif needs two to get through. Latif's best coach is Latif. <laughs> Momentum was on Latif's side as the charismatic player took a convincing 3-1 first set to reset the grand finals. But just as it was looking like it was his time to qualify for the finals, Tempest NYC stuck to his game plan and saw it all the way through to the end as he took the final, final set 3-1. And you can really see how much qualifying means to him here. That's victory, and Tempest is your Frosty Frosty champion. We now have all eight participants for the finals, which will be taking place on March 11th in just over a month's time. 
DNF Duel was also a finals qualifying spot, as it's the other game featured in the Ark World Finals, and 214 players pulled up for that. Top 8 saw not only great character variety, but also a good number of regions represented as well, including, of course, the US, Japan, Korea, UK, and France. I've got to give a special shout out to my boy Tales of Mr. E for making top 8 with that amazing crusader bro, great job. Japan's Kubo marched into grand finals with a side with ease, while tenured Mool eliminated Blue Linkus in losers final to earn his run back in the grand finals. While he was able to reset the bracket, Kubo was able to maintain his composure at a tense 2-2 tie and showed why Grappler can be so terrifying in this game. Amazing performance from tenured Mule, who we definitely hope to see more of in the near future. Be sure to check out the Frosty Faustings VODs for a ton of great tournament action from a load of games, and we look forward to seeing the 16th iteration next year. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today here on the Roundup. But don't forget, like I said earlier, there will be a special Tekken World Tour Finals Roundup going out as well, which is going to have all the information, all the hype from that exciting finals in Amsterdam. So you don't want to miss that. So once again, if you did enjoy today's video, if it you know, helped you stay up to date with what's going on in the fighting game community, please don't forget to drop us a like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you thought about this week in the fighting game community. And we will see you in the next video. Take care. Till next time, guys.